Good morning everyone, it is Carrie from Carrie Martin's Craft Emporium and I am on this morning because I got another incredible um, design team package from Panalisa Crafts over on AliExpress and she sent me dies and paper and ephemera and it's pretty big amount so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on in and the first thing that she sends is like a little um, thank you type deal and she gives you, well, she gave me a free die and some sample papers and whatnot and a little thank you note. And it's really cute. Um, the next one is this little die that makes um, an ice cream cone type thing. And it comes with the cone, the little, um, like, I guess you would call it a sleeve. And then you can just make and layer your ice cream however you want. It's really cute. This one here <clears throat> is a um, a heart light bulb, and it, it makes it into a shaker if you want, and then it comes with the little word love that you can put right on top, and I think that's going to be really fun to work with next year for um, Valentine's Day. And this one is, um, let me see if I can get this one open. <laughs> It's three little potion bottles, and they're all shakers, and they come in three different little sizes. So what I did, I know it's, and then it has um, a little tag that says love potion, and it comes with a little cork, and then it has the two bigger die cut words that say love potion. Um, and again, I've already put away most of my Valentine's stuff, and I was already crafting for different holidays and stuff, so I had already moved on to Easter and spring. And this one here is a little planter box, and it's got the really cute detailed wood grain. It's got a bunch of different size flowers, the little um, centerpieces for the flowers, and it's got your stems. And like I said, it's a really cute die. And this one here is a box die. Um, and it's the perfect size for like a gift card. Um, and I actually did a sample of this one. And then it's got like, if you want to make the window so you can see in. And it comes with little tags. It has two different shapes for window cutouts. And it's got like the scalloped edge for um, the top part of your box. A really cute die. I was really excited with that one. This one here is a big old mason jar. Well, it's actually two of them. And like I said, my hands are huge and you can see that sucker is a great size die. Um, and then it says homemade with love on the tag. And then this one has um, strawberry. So, but like I said, that's a great size shaker die. And then these next three dies, these ones I actually created samples with. And these three I did not get a chance to create samples with, but I will in the next round. Um, and this one is like a, a drink and it's got different layers for the different colors of however your drink is. And it's got like a little Cupid stirrer and a little heart stirrer. Um, and I think this one will be fun to work with. And then this one makes like a little birdhouse and you just put it behind like a rectangle or a square, however you want it. And it has like the little cutout pieces and then it has like your little bird that you can put together and then this is like a little scalloped um, flower piece around um, the house. So that one will be a lot of fun to play with. And then this one is like, um, it's like your cappuccino or coffee when they make the pretty designs and stuff in it. Um, I'm not a coffee drinker, but this one is gonna, I have a lot of friends that are coffee drinkers. So this, this one will definitely be used. And it comes with like a little blossom thing and it's got the heart and then it, I don't know if that one's supposed to be like a swan and then it's got your spoon and like your saucer type thing so <clears throat> now I'm gonna get into the paper and she sent papers and ephemera this time and I actually loved all these papers and I'm not gonna take them all out because she sent quite a few but I'm just gonna show you <clears throat> This one is very vintagey, and it's the black and tan tones, and you get all these beautiful different papers, and I actually did create a project with this one, um, and like I said, I love, and it's got all these different cut apart pieces that you can use, use them for collage, however you want to do it, however your little heart desires, um, and I can't wait 
to continue playing with this one. And then, okay, like I said, she sent me a bunch of different beautiful um, ephemera pieces. And in my brain, I don't know why, it just, if I have ephemera pieces, it has to go with a specific collection. I can't mix and match and whatnot. And see, it's got like little bunny ears behind, um, beautiful flowers, different pieces for just um, uh, tags and whatnot. Like this is the back of a postcard. You've got birdhouses, flowers, uh, more bunnies. And then it's got word phrases. Um, live earnestly and laugh freely. Revive your dreams. Best wishes. Um, and then this one also had like big <clears throat> and let's see again here we've got little like round pieces just to add like little extras and it's got bunny here and I really liked these pieces so you've just got some square you've got bunny a frame another bunny and then you've got more like little tag pieces flowers um another bunny and then I got to like trying to match it with paper <clears throat> And of course it definitely matches this hydrangea line. And I love like the pink with the print and it's just all of these pieces match perfectly. Well, when I started playing with it, I was like, wait a minute, all these ephemera pieces are interchangeable with all of the lines that she just sent me. So like I said, you've got lace on print, you've got these beautiful flowers, beautiful bunnies, I'm sorry. <laughs> but look at the tone of the colors and stuff. And so with this line, all of these different pieces, let me show you. Um, this is the hydrangea line. Um, let me get out a different collection here. Um, so you've got this one here and it's called Memories. And if I move this out of the way, you've got all these different pieces that can match into here as well. So all of her um, ephemera pieces can go interchanging with all of the different collections she got, except maybe the romance ones and whatnot, but it's still just incredible. So on this one, you've got a lot more of the vintage, like writing and butterflies, this beautiful um, flower page, you've got more butterflies, you've got maps, vintage postcards, owls, flowers, um, more lace, beautiful roses, and then again, here is, um, let me move these guys out of the way here, you've got more of these beautiful um, pieces, ephemera pieces. So you've got like music notes, a music note with like a little fairy on flowers, postcards, more music notes. And let me flip all these beautiful guys over here. And so see, you've got maps and tags, and these can be used however your little heart desires. Little, Like I said, you can layer them up however you want. Um, just, like I said, they're just beautiful. So let me move these guys over here and then she sent um, two Valentine-ish looking lines and like I said again she sent two different ephemera piece packs one is called Leah Moore and again it's got all your cherubs or your yeah I guess cherubs or um, cupids whatever you want to call them all these beautiful roses, the vintage colors um, with that deep, deep red, more music notes. Um, and like I said, some of these music notes, like I said, that literally matches that piece there. And that was in for the memories collection. So that's what I'm saying is all of the different um, ephemera pieces are interchangeable. Like it's however you want to do it. But this one here again has little lawn fairies or garden fairies and more music notes and the lined paper. Like I said, these, these collections are just beautiful. <clears throat> and then um, again with more ephemera pieces, I love you more than I can say. Um, 
and it's just like I said let me let me go ahead and take it I wasn't gonna open it because there's so many different pieces um, I'm just gonna take out some of the word phrases for you guys um, you're my everything be happy be safe happy Valentine's Day um, you're the gift to the world just like I said those are basic like Valentine's type phrases um, I'm gonna put those guys back and then here's another Valentine's collection <clears throat> well I guess it's love what a romance I guess it doesn't have to be used for Valentine's Day but just seeing all the colors and stuff and again you've got tons of flowers the deep red colors um, like the little vintage females riding a horse um, just beautiful and again here are more gorgeous gorgeous ephemera pieces dream passionately love yourself um, yeah just I'm not gonna take those out oops I'm losing pieces over here and then here's like I said the rest of the paper pad and uh, and then these last ones I did not get a chance to use but this paper here is just stunning. Um, like I said in previous videos, I am such a sucker for wood grain. And this one here is like, look at all the blue hues to it. It's just, you've got white, you've got some burlap, the dark wood. This is that blue right here. And it looks like patchwork or quilt work and it's just beautiful. Um, more of the dark wood grain, blue, and yeah. so. This is just another beautiful piece or a packet of paper. And then here, this is the ombre effect. It is, um, which I plan on using this one for an Easter project because of some of these colors. And then it's just got swirls of gold mixed in and it's just, it's stunning. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to use that one. And then this last one is Easter. And with Easter being just right around the corner, this one is going to be so much fun to use. And you've got your little vintage Easter girl with her bunny rabbits and Easter eggs and your bunny and beautiful flowers. And then the Easter bunny sitting in some roses. You've got your little chick. You've got some more of the vintage postcards. And then you've got your Easter ephemera pieces. And I don't really want to take them all out, but you've got little tags and whatnot and like I said here's your vintage girls and all the different little postcards and stuff just like I said just beautiful so now I'm gonna get really quickly with the projects and stuff that I made so with one of the paper collections I think it was hydrangea I just made a quick little um, memory decks card and I used one of the tags one of the little um, this is a tag this is just like a little ephemera piece and I added some um, cheesecloth made a quick bow and like I said that little um, memory dex card turned out darling I just I love those deep deep colors there and then here is that ice cream cone die and I don't know how I'm gonna use this yet it'll probably end up going on a tag um, or into a scrapbook maybe um, but look, it's just, it, it, I think that turned out darling. Super cute, super fun to use. And yeah, I can't wait to continue playing with that. And then here is the little um, light bulb kit. Light bulb. And like I said, that's going to be perfect for Valentine's Day. I didn't turn it into a shaker, but you get the idea of what it's um, going to look like. And like I said, that'll be easy just next year just to throw it on a card and you've got your little focal piece for the card. <clears throat> now on the, the Valentine shakers, the love potions, I, like I said, I had already gotten my Valentine stuff put away. So I thought, like, you know what, let me grab and make some Halloween potion bottles. So that's how those guys turned out. And like I said, they're the perfect size um, for Halloween and for projects for tags for cards however you want to do it just perfect little embellishment pieces to add on and like I said these don't have to be for Halloween or for Valentine's you can use them however your little heart desires 
So there's that. And then this is that little box. Um, and see how I said the scalloped edge goes all the way around. Um, here's the one of the tag center parts. And like I said, it's just a cute little, goes together super easy, fits perfect. Um, I cannot wait to continue using that. And like I said, that's the perfect size for a gift box or gift card. So you can put it in there, customize it, and you're good to go. And here is <clears throat> that big mason jar. And look how, and that's with the Easter paper, because you can see the little bunnies sitting in the, um, the bed of roses there. And I just threw that together really quickly. Um, threw some flowers on there, hung one of the tags as like a little charm. And there you go. That will probably go on the front of an Easter card. It probably won't be able to be mailed because of the thick flowers. But that die is, I think a mason jar die is a necessity or a staple in any crafter's uh, arsenal there. Um, and then now, let me see here. Oh, here is the little um, planter box, the spring planter box. And I just, like I said, this is a super simple tag, but I just cut the planter and then I cut the grass in two different color greens and then layered it up and then here's your little flowers and then I just put the word hello and I think that tag turned out darling. Now, here is, this is actually from the same sheet of paper because I cut this one down. I don't know why, but those little bunnies just, I didn't want to do too much to them because they were just, I don't know why, they're, they're just adorable. So I just put a tag there and put it on a card base and there you have it. Just a quick little tag or quick little note card. And then what was left of that sheet of paper I had cut down from, I ripped a piece and then I stamped a little bit and did a little black stitching and just made a really cute little tag. And like I said, that shows how versatile that one sheet of paper is. It doesn't have to be used for Easter. You can do it, use it however you want. Now this one here is, um, it's a little pocket. Let me see if I can grab um, one of the ephemera packs here. If I don't have one already out. Um, here we go. So this is a little um, pocket here. If I can get it into the pocket. There we go. And you can put tags or whatever you want in there and just ship send to happy mail however you want but in this one i used um the stamp set that she had sent me last month from panelisa and i used this little tag or this little stamp right there and it worked beautifully i embossed it and then this is the romance and i used my um gold flakes i just used some glue and then i flaked on some of the gold and like I said, just made a quick little pocket to send tags, um, however, whatever you want to send in it. Gift card, whatever you want to send in that. And then this last one I used was that vintage, um, let me see here, this collection. And I used a black file folder, a mini file folder I had. Here is um, some of the word print. Here's some of the um, Florida de -lis. Um, another sheet of paper, some more of that print, and then I use some emb or not embossed, texture paste, um, stencil paste, whatever you want to call it, right there. And I just made a little file pocket. And that can go in a scrapbook, whatever you want to keep tickets, tags, whatever you want to put in there. It's whatever you want to do. It's your project. So that is my video or my projects for using the Panelisa craft over on AliExpress and I will have the links to all of these wonderful supplies in the description box below and I want to thank you guys for stopping by and go check out the store and I'll see you guys later thanks bye